They fit? Uh, they're fine. Thanks, yes. Uh, thank you for everything. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't found me. I would have had to go to Al's in my underwear. We should call my mom. No, she hates me already. No, she doesn't. I'm Emily's sister. She hates my whole family. This has nothing to do with that. She's not going to blame you for what those creeps did. Please, just leave the cops out of this. Okay? What? Why don't you tell me, um, what happened? It was awful. I... Didn't... Did they hurt you? Not physically, no. Did they do anything else? They kept saying they were going to, but, but they never did. So why would, why, why would they do this? I don't know. And they were playing one of my movies, and but and they, they kept saying they wanted to do the same stuff to me. But but they didn't, right? No. <laughs> but why then? Why? He said he knew who I was and what I was up to. He said that about you, you spying on Kevin? But, but Kevin was at yours the whole time. It must have been his boys. I don't know. I never saw their faces. Do you, do you remember their voices? Maybe. How about the room? Do you remember what the room looked like? Um, I think it was a dorm. Uh, the walls were painted blue, cinder block, and, and I could hear traffic outside. Slaughter Hall, it's on the main road into campus, yes. And it has blue blue walls, yes. Well, the guy who was in charge, he had a key. He brought you to his own dorm room? I don't, I don't know. Well, if we can find him, yes. Okay, then let's go. No, wait, no, not, no, we'll go tomorrow. You need to get your rest. No, I need to go while it's still fresh in my mind. Are you, are you sure the cops are a lot better at this? No. Please. Okay, I'll get my keys. I'm sorry this happened. It's not your fault. I was the one who asked you to spy on Kevin. I'm sorry. Thanks, Casey. Oh, oh, oh. oh hi. I'm waiting for Casey. He's he's here. He's upstairs. Hey, uh, uh we'll see you later. Mm. You, you're going back out? Oh, yeah, another party. Bye. Bye. Another party, another steward. Oh, come on, they're just friends. She was wearing his clothes. You sure? <sighs> you're sure? So much for staying out of trouble. This is the last floor. I can't tell. Hey, it's okay. Well, it's they okay. had the thing over my face the whole time. I couldn't see anything. Close your eyes. What? Close your eyes. Maybe you'll uh, remember the smell or, or something you heard. <sighs> okay. Uh, it still smells the same. Like beer and some vomit. Yes, yes. Every dorm smells like that, but come on. I guess. Wait, that music. That's what they were playing. You sure? I'll never forget it. <laughs> Isn't this a surprise? <laughs> You're going back to jail, loser. You reside in this dorm? No, no. Then you come over with me. What? Hmm. That's the station. Casey set up special ringtones. So they'll leave a message. The mayor's car probably got egged or something. Uh, we can only hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hughes. What? Oh, 
Yes, I'll, I'll be right down. Casey beat somebody up again, a student, and the, the campus security brought him in, and he's under arrest again. That's a violation of his parole. He could go back to prison. <sighs> yeah, well, that didn't take long. He's an animal. He started hitting me for no reason. Are you serious? What is going on? The, this law life here kidnapped yeah, Allie. I have witnesses he does. You're so pathetic. He's not even denying it. It's you because I do it. No, no. Right no. Shut up. Is he being charged? He better be. What's your name? Mark Vero. Did you get his statement? Not yet. How'd you make the arrest? We got the call from campus security. Uh, they saw him beating up Vero, and so did these guys. Are you going to do your job now? Get him out of here. I want to press charges. You can come back in the morning, and we'll get your statement along with everybody else. Go on. You. Tell me what happened. They kidnapped Allie. They blindfolded her and dragged her back to their dorm room. Is that true? You think you can identify any of the perps? They wore masks. No, it was them. She led me right to Vero's room, dorm room. And then you went right in and beat him up. They threatened to rape her. Did they rape you? No. They did make her take off all of her clothes, though. Oh, Casey. Well, then what happened? And then they threw me against the wall, and I, and I hit my head. Allie, did you see any of their faces? They had masks on the whole time. Is there any chance that you could identify any of them in life? I don't know. Mom. I don't think so. Mom, it was them. Vero's working for Kevin, you know, for his campaign. She was trying to get some information about them, you know, for Luke. Were you? Y yes. I talked her into it. Uh, how come I don't find that hard to believe? Mom, the point is, it was them. Do you see what kind of morons they are? They brought her back to their dorm room. Hey, Casey, what kind of moron are you to violate your parole like this? You know what's going to happen now. Yes, it can get revoked. And you go back to prison. But, but that's not fair. He only did it because of what they did to me. No, he did it because he never thinks before he takes any action. We have plenty of time to think now, won't you, when you serve your full sentence? but I know it was them. They knew me. They knew about the movies I made, and they knew what I was doing now for Luke's campaign. And Mark is the other candidate's campaign manager, and that can't all be just a coincidence. Look, I don't doubt that it happened, and I'm sure that it was terrifying. Yes, then why am I being treated like the bad because guy? Because huh? they have proof, and you don't. That is bogus. Oh, so you can't do anything to them? Not without evidence. Listen, why don't you go home and you sleep on this and maybe in the morning you tell me something that I can use. Well, what happens to Casey? Casey stays here for the night. We call his P.O. in the morning. You're kidding, Mom. No, Casey, I am not kidding you. We'll have a uniform officer take you home. Thank you for everything, Casey. What the hell were you thinking? That my friend was kidnapped, threatened, humiliated, and I'm the one getting arrested. Pretty hot, huh? What, have you lost your mind? What? That's evidence, Mark. Anybody sees that, you're going to jail. Look, you gotta get rid of that now. You should have seen Ali the way I found her. They dumped her in Old Town without any clothes on. For God's sakes, Mom. That, that, that's why I took her home and, and gave her some sweats. And then when you saw us come in, you didn't. You decided not to tell us? She, she asked me not to. Why? She, she knows how you feel about Emily. She was afraid that you would think she was another crazy Stuart woman. Oh, come on. You know that's not fair. Casey, you know how I feel about abused women. You think I would just disregard Allison because her last name is Stuart? I don't know what you would have done. So instead of coming to us, you decide it's better to violate the terms of your parole and go in and, 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 and beat this guy up? Oh, okay, I, did, I didn't think it that far in advance. No. You didn't think it through at all, Casey. Instead, you just let your father and me clean up your messes, don't you? No. I need a uniform in here. Put him in a cell. Oh, 
Casey, go with the officers now. 